Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Melanie. Um, my channel's just in its infancy stage, so there isn't really much to catch you up on at this point. Um, but I will link my intro video that I posted the other day um, in the eye in the sky and also in the description below in case you want to understand why I'm here and what I'm hoping to accomplish, basically what my channel is all about. So as I mentioned in that video, it's time to make some changes. And as I look at the week ahead, I'm going to start small. Remember, I have issues with going too big, <laughs> doing all the things and not sustaining it. So it's important I, I try and approach this a little bit differently and hopefully get this right this time. So in looking at all the things that I wanna work on, my biggest priority is my health. I think if I can make some inroads into that, it will also help motivate me in other areas of my life because this one's a really pressing, pressing uh, concern that's weighing on my mind. Um, being home this past year, like working from home, not going out very much, has really impacted how physically active I am. I wasn't great to start with and this just made it even worse. And so while in theory it should have been easier, you know, to eat healthier, um, I, that just didn't end up being the case. Overall, um, my situation hasn't improved and if anything I would say it's probably worse than pre-COVID. So I have weighed myself and I've taken my measurements and I'm not really ready to be that vulnerable yet. So I hope you understand. Um, but clearly you can tell that um, weight is an issue. And in the past, I really hyper-focused on those numbers and let them determine whether I was being successful or not. And it hasn't worked. Uh, I haven't been able to sustain it. So really, this time around, I'm trying to um, not focus on those numbers. So I do have them because I do want a point of reference, hopefully at some point in the future, but I don't want to focus on those numbers to the point where they become all consuming. I would rather they just be a benchmark and not a measure of success. So I'm basically, I took those numbers and I'm going to tuck them away. I'm not going to look at them. I'm not going to take any further measurements at this point in time. Um, I'm hoping to go at least a month. I would love it to be even longer than that to really kind of kick this habit of uh, focusing too much on, on the numbers. I hope that makes sense. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. And if you struggle with something like that too, let me know below. Like, do you become hyper-focused on, you know, seeing that weight drop? And if you don't, you know, that that's very discouraging and how do you handle it or what have you done? I'd be curious to, to know. So what am I going to work on this coming week? So notice I didn't use the word goals. Um, again, I'm trying to avoid that driven achiever mentality of striving for quote unquote perfection of achieving what needs to be done. Um, because let's be real, if I don't meet my goals, I feel like a failure. And when I do that, I swing in the opposite direction and I let everything go. And that just causes more problems than the good did by being so um, driven in the first place. So what I'm really trying to do this go around is reframe my thinking um, so that I'm looking at things more as a process towards improvement as opposed to a defined goal of achievement. So basically, I want to set myself up so I cannot fail. I hope that makes sense. So that being said, I want to focus on moving. As I just mentioned, I can be very goal oriented. And so of course, my very first thought when I think about movement is, oh great, I'll use my fitness tracker and I'll count my steps and I will achieve X number of steps a day. Um, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. Again, it's all this reframing my thought process and how I'm going to go about this. And hopefully this is, this is the, the push that I need um, to actually get where I want to go. 
So the reason why I'm not going to focus on that is because if I don't hit my goal target, um, I feel like I failed and you get it, I quit because in my world, um, if it's not 100% perfect, it's not worth doing. And that is not true, right? 5,000 steps is better than 2,000 steps, even if my goal was 10,000 steps. You get, the, you get what I mean, right? So intellectually, I understand that. But emotionally, when I assess things, that's not how I look at it. I just see the fact that I didn't achieve 10,000 steps. So um, I need to reframe that. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule a 20 minute walk each day. So that sounds like a goal, but it's not in the sense of in my mind, while schedules could be viewed as a goal, this is what I want to achieve. Schedules are often flexible and sometimes things have to be rescheduled because circumstances change and things don't always go the way they were intended. So. I'm going to schedule a 20 minute walk each day. And if it works out um, to be 10 minutes on a given day, as long as I've intentionally and thoughtfully made a determination that a 10 minute walk is the best option for that day, then I'm good with it, right? It's that idea of thinking things through and understanding the circumstances I'm in and making everything work together. So basically the key is being very intentional in my actions. So the other thing I'm going to do this week is um, minimize eating out. So even though with COVID there's been tons of restrictions, I've still managed to do takeout quite a bit. Um, and I don't think that that's the most particularly healthy options out there. I mean, obviously you can make healthier choices, but let's be real. I don't always make the healthier choice. So it's kind of one of those things of let's remove the temptation in the first place. So I am going to try and minimize eating out again. I'm not going to say I'm never going to eat out because maybe one day I get so caught up in work that the best thing for me to do is to pick up a meal, but my intention, my initial plan or thought is to try and not eat out this week. What I'm going to do instead is I am going to go grocery shopping today and I am going to pick up some fresh fruits and vegetables. I do have uh, protein options in my freezer, so I don't need those. And I am going to cook a dish that I am very comfortable cooking and I'm going to make enough that I can eat that particular dish for multiple meals. This is because I don't like to cook. I would rather eat the same meal multiple times um, if it means I only have to cook once. So that's my own um, limitation or my own workaround for something I know about myself, right? Um, I've done it where I've tried to cook a meal every day and I hate it and I just get very frustrated and then I don't want to cook and I refuse to cook and go and eat out instead. So this way, if I've got meals pre-made, I will more likely eat them. And like I said, if it's uh, the same meal every day, I'm okay with that. Obviously, I'm not going to eat the same meal for a whole month, but for a week, I can do it. And I have done it. So it is very doable. So it's not for everybody. I just want to reiterate that. I'm not saying this is something you should do. I'm just saying knowing myself. So assess who you are and figure out a way that's going to work for you and the way that you think and what you like to do. If you love to cook, go for it. Cook every day. Um, just, it's just not my thing. I'm also going to prep some additional protein, probably chicken, um, just for the additional meal. So I will have at least one meal a day covered with this uh, particular meal. And then I will have some protein pre-cooked and I will supplement that with either a salad or some raw vegetables, um, depending on what I feel like in a given day. So the other thing, or the other reason why I'm doing it this way is because I don't like to plan things out in, deta in great detail. And so this is how I'm going to make this aspect work. I understand that I need to plan because if I don't plan, then I resort to my bad or I fall back to my bad habits. But because I'm not a planner, I am going to keep this as simple as possible. And I know that this is achievable for me. So that's my thoughts 
for this coming week. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are for the coming week. I'd like to know what the most pressing item on your list is. Are you um, working on your health? Are you working on your finances? Or maybe you're just trying to get better control of your um, environment, like your house, um, cleaning, that kind of thing. And I'm also curious to know what you do to set yourself up so you cannot fail. My plan is to take some video clips um, throughout the week of what I'm up to um, and share, you know, an update probably midweek. Again, I'm just getting into this, so I'm not exactly sure what the schedule is going to be. So be sure to subscribe if you are interested in following along. Um, if you want to join me on this journey, I would love to have you partner up with me and um, click the notification bell so that you are notified when that video comes up. Be sure to comment below because I do, like I said, want to encourage those of you that um, need some encouragement along with myself and some motivation so that hopefully we can inspire each other. Thanks so much. And now it's time to do this.